Now airing on HBO is a black lady sketch show, a new comedy written by, directed by, and starring black women. This groundbreaking new series explores culturally relevant themes, including social norms, anxiety, sex, and dating. Starring Robin Thede, Quinta Brunson, Ashley Nicole Black, and Gabrielle Dennis, and with guest appearances by Issa Rae, Angela Bassett, Laverne Cox, and many more stars. A black lady sketch show airs Friday nights and is available to stream now, only on HBO. Lip service. What's up, what's up? It's Lip Service. I'm Angela Yee. I'm Gigi McGuire. I'm Gigi's nipples. Shut up. <laughs> I'm L'Oreal. <laughs> I'm Amory. <laughs> hey, Amory's like, I'm not sure is this me right now. <laughs> but let's introduce Amory because this is your first time. Yeah, this is my on first service. time. So let's talk about you. You're from Chicago. Yeah, I'm from Chicago, Southside, Inglewood, you know. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I've been to Inglewood before. You have? Mm-hmm. That's surprising. Why you say that? A lot of people don't visit Inglewood. I've been there. I was in the park that Derrick Rose um, built. Oh. And, mm-hmm, I was working with this um, on this documentary for Spenzo. Spenzo? Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. That's cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I was out there. It was an experience. <laughs> the experience? You didn't like it? No, it's good. I mean, look, I'm from Brooklyn. Like, I enjoy going places that's not necessarily, like, the downtown touristy area. Right. And I think it is important when you go places for people to see you, like, being successful and know that people care. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Get back. Yeah. yeah, we're not scared to go into certain places, but we also show our respect. Mm-hmm. I think you sure. have to respectfully go places, you know. Yeah. Agreed. Yeah. Yeah. So some people be scared. I don't know if y'all saw that video, but the video of Safari. <laughs> Safari had like four armed guards with him in Detroit. And they had like eight K forty sevens and very yeah, yeah, it was crazy. It was like so he was surrounded Who by he security. He <laughs> like he was in um Iraq or something. <laughs> yeah, that she's like, I ain't gonna say How that. would you feel if somebody came through Chicago, your your neighborhood, and say it was a safari because he's not really that famous. So like say it was somebody like yeah, him. Gloria. He's not like I think now if that was like Jay-Z, I'd be like, all right, keep your I security. feel like Jay-Z wouldn't even do that. He, he wouldn't. wouldn't. Exactly what like I'm saying. saying. Exactly. But if he was somebody of that caliber of a celebrity. You feel me? Then, then it it, would I would maybe think understandable. But I don't I mean, think he needs that much security. Because personally. of the type of name Chicago have, like some people not really like yeah, I think about like our murder rate. Like that's really what everybody talk about when they talk about Chicago. So if somebody like him is not comfortable enough to go in there, I can't. But he went blame to Detroit him. with all of these. Guys. They said he was. No, she said field. if he, he go to. <laughs> you oh, said if he go. Okay. Yeah, hey, I said if he was the if you was to be in your hood. Oh, and you okay. You see I'm him sorry. walking around with four armed guards. How would yeah. you feel? Because I, I would think, be offended. Like, bro. I think it's over dramatic. But yeah. it's very <laughs> relax. Yeah. Just I mean, don't wear a bunch of jewelry when you go someplace you don't know. I mean, I mean, he did get robbed. So maybe he got PTSD from being robbed at gunpoint. That's true. So far, he got robbed. He got robbed. He right outside his apartment. Yeah. <laughs> about a year ago. What? <laughs> 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 but Sip let's talk about Penny. you and how Inglewood made you who you are today. Like, tell us about where you're from and what made you want to be an artist, who inspired you, all of that. Okay, so what made me want to be an artist is, like, I got, like, music in my family. Like, my mama sings, she writes, she rap. My mm-hmm. father do the same. And my uncle really started me, like, with the karaoke machine, like, when I was, like, probably, like, three years old. He used to make me sing songs, like, over and over on karaoke machine. But growing up in Inglewood, I think it molded me to be, like, a... A strong woman. Mm-hmm. I think I'm stronger because of the environment I grew up in. Right. Like I got the soft, caring type of feelings as a female, but I got the hard body as a male because it's it really was like pros and cons mm-hmm. being in Inglewood. Like you had your bad times, you had your good times. It come through in your music. Yeah, <laughs> you talk some shit. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, let's get into that a little bit. Because, um, you know, you talk about a lot of things that I think people could relate to. Mm-hmm. Now, I got to ask you, do you send selfies of yourself out to guys when you're dating? Like like nudes? I didn't get to that part yet. <laughs> oh, you're jumping the gun jumped now. In. So that means, yes. Yeah, so who do you think we are? Right. Nip We're nip glad you're here than that. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, selfies, like regular pictures, yeah. yeah. Okay. Like if asked. I don't just randomly send them. If they ask. Yeah, if you be like, basically send me a pic. Then, mm-hmm. No, I send it through. <laughs> now, do you send nudes ever? I've never sent a nude. You're not going to get me like that. <laughs> <laughs> what no. about a thong picture? No. Not a thong, not a, not a bikini, bikini, not a sports mm. bra. Not a bikini. A bikini's okay. No, you... I don't even wear bikinis on the beach, believe it or not. Why? 
I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I just think, I don't know. I just didn't get to that point yet. So what you be wearing? One pieces? No. A no. t-shirt? <laughs> I would like, I would like, I probably wear like a two piece, but I put like some shorts on over it or something like that. I don't never just be on the beach with two pieces on. All right, she gonna get there at some point. Yeah, yeah, your tan line about to be crazy. <laughs> yeah, no, she it's gonna be like a whole. It's gonna be pale right here, all the way up to your like knee. a farmer's tan. <laughs> you think that's part of how you were were raised? Because I say, I always say this: my family, like nobody walked around the house. You know how some families be naked in the house. My and stuff? family and me. Yeah, my family. Everybody was covered up. We had to wear socks even. Like oh, we couldn't no. even walk around the house in our bare feet. Oh no, I wasn't. At first, I wasn't too comfortable with just showing my body. Like I wouldn't even have like crop tops at first. I started wearing crop tops when I was like eighteen or something. Oh wow! Yeah, it ain't like I don't know. I just that's never fine. Was, like, that's that's good. Yeah. yeah, I'm mm-hmm. not mad at every to each his own. You ain't got to right. be out here all naked all the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think I'm just a little tomboy. Okay, so. but guys liked you growing up. I'm sure. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. so what kind of guys did you like? Uh, I like what Drake say. Uh, I forget. Basically, I like somebody with like a story. You, you know like saying? Drake? No. Like a Drake type of person? <laughs> no. Said, I like no. Drake as an artist, but yeah. not on the other shit. But what did Drake say? He said, uh, "What song? Was it sensitive? I kind of think it was. Pr- no, it was an old one. It was. I think it was Proud of You. Like, no, you, um, it ain't proud. It's like you got a pass and I do too. We mm. perfect for each other. Mm. Basically, I like somebody with a story that I could relate because I came from like a uh. Uh, struggle with hard background so I want somebody I can relate to but you got loyalty honesty like you got a little like some you got a little edge you yeah. look like some, you, look like some. <laughs> you like a baller belly or you like guys in good shape always I ain't mad about a B-O-N <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't too mad about it I don't really care like ready to size wait you not wait. with a what a B-O-N what's that a I'm old nigga Oh, say, say it again. A big old a nigga. Big old nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out King Louis. <laughs> I like that. B O N. All right. What about Secret? Now you have a song called Secret with Y K Osiris. Is he your type? Somebody like him? Cause he a little cutie too. <laughs> <laughs> right. You ain't say no. Cause Drake. It was like no. Him was a drink. No. Yes. Too late. No, yeah. <laughs> well, she said his type. So. Yeah, is that your type? I'm not type. saying you talking to him. Oh, okay. Is he a type? Um, is he cute? Yeah, Osiris cute. Personality wise, you like him? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he funny. He got a nice personality, and, and being around him, he kind of he not kind of, but he God fearing. So that's a good quality to have in a man. But like, sound like boyfriend material to me. So sure do. <laughs> Shout out his future girlfriend. <laughs> Is she sitting on this couch? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it ain't me. So. <laughs> That's cute. Now, cup about to be empty, baby. Mm-hmm. You need some more? So, is it fun mm-hmm. to have a relationship that's a secret? Because I'm sure we've all had those. The sex is fun. You know sex always good when you ain't supposed to be doing mm-hmm. it. When you doing it with somebody that you ain't got no business doing it with and somewhere you ain't got no business doing it at, it's always Like a married good. man? Oh, not that. No. Not that much of a <laughs> Not that serious. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So y'all- I think things is better on the low, though. Mm-hmm. With how social media and stuff is now, like they take everything and it kind of destroys people. Like that's basically what secret is about. Right. People think it's about creeping with a nigga you ain't supposed to be with, but it's really like keeping it out of social media, keeping it out of people's faces. Because I feel like now the way social media is set up, it kind of ruins relationships. Kind of. I agree with it that. Does. Yeah, it does because people be scrutinizing, people be in DMs, people be telling shit that's not even true. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and bitches. Ri- I can curse. Yeah, yes, you can curse. Okay. Set yourself mm-hmm. down. Bitches really like <laughs> fucking with niggas that got bitches. Like, they want to say that I got mm-hmm. her nigga. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? They get them props. Like, yeah. oh, you know, I was fucking with da da da. He got that's his girl. And then they'll tell you. Mm-hmm. Right, girl, you right. think he faithful. And girl, you think you, um. The only one he fucking besides. Yeah. You think you wife material. Baby, beat it. What percentage of guys you think are faithful? <laughs> nah. 90. No one. Okay. <laughs> one percent. One no percent. One. No, where? Zero, 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 nine percent. <laughs> exactly. You know anybody that's faithful, like in your life, like that you see in a relationship and you believe they're faithful? No. I personally don't know. I mean, I hear people saying that they're faithful, but I've never seen a faithful man before. God damn, that's tough. 
Like what, Gigi? Why are you making that face? <laughs> Cause you already know how I feel about these ninjas. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All the guys I know that are like faithful are like older. Then been through it, then got right. caught, probably had a sneak side baby, and that's what made them be faithful. Cause they couldn't mess up no more. Hmm. What? She about to say <laughs> something. She wanna say something so bad. Well shit, they ain't got the sauce no more. They can't really get nobody because nigga temptation is real for men. Mm-hmm. Like niggas are claim they faithful all day, see a nice little ass of face and be gone. But let's keep it real, okay? There's guys that it ain't even like they some of the guys that you look at that be cheating and doing all this stuff you be like how mm-hmm. it don't even matter if they not good looking yeah. if they ain't got shit they still will do it that mouthpiece mm-hmm. words is words is play a big part in like people being in relationships too like a nigga that could sweet talk a, you could sweet talk a woman right out of drawers mm-hmm. if you got the right words the right mouthpiece Who? so let's talk about you <laughs> she said I need another sip mm-hmm. <laughs> So have you ever been in love? No, not yet What's the longest relationship you ever been in? Because you still, what are you, 22, 23? 23 23 uh, Three years That's a long time And you mm-hmm. wasn't in love? Mm-mm. I was close to it, but he was <laughs> <laughs> He died. was like, he was the worst person To ever get myself in a situation with so like every time I kept see myself like getting up, then he'd drop me. I take something. To yeah, me. and I mm-hmm. it's like resetting. What so made you he, stay for so long? Um, he, <laughs> he was my first, I guess. Mm-hmm. So I had a certain type of attachment to him. Mm-hmm. That'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. Were you his first? <laughs> no. <laughs> what told? What ultimately? <laughs> Made you end? Did you end the relationship? And what totally ultimately made you do so when you did? Yeah, cause I didn't see it getting no better. It actually got worse. And like I thought, I was trying. You can't. You cannot raise a man like mm-hmm. K. Michelle mm-hmm. said. Like you are who you are. It's when you reach a certain age. I feel like you are already an established person. So it's not. You got to change yourself. I can't change you. You feel me? So I couldn't change him. Mm-hmm. And, and I you feel like. Change. Yeah. Like and me staying, I feel like I was hurting myself more than I was. Um, Gaining, you know what I'm saying? What was the last straw? <laughs> <laughs> Don't tell me he had a baby. Oh, he did that too. God damn. No, but <laughs> she said, woo. <laughs> the last straw, I think somebody had, Um, I think I was, I was in a, like starting my career or whatever and females knew who I was like the dummy a brag about who I was to females and then somebody inboxed me and showed me like, like me, yeah, mm. and I was like, yeah, I had to. I Don't had embarrass me now, <laughs> and that goes back to what we just said. How girls don't want to be your girl. Girls don't want to deal with a guy when they know they got somebody just to say like, oh, that's your girl, but right. I'm doing this with him. Type yeah, time. then you think we gonna right be s- Powerpuff girls, sister, sisters mm-hmm. after? They wanna be your friend. After yeah, that. nah, you. Mm-mm. Yeah, that's crazy. That happened to me before. This guy that I used to date, and I was with him for like four and a half years. So he had broke up with his ex. And we got together like in the middle of his breakup. And then he ended up getting back together with her. But it was early on in our relationship. So then she went through his phone. He had two phones and he had left one at home and she was at his house. And she was at his house because she had just had an abortion and she couldn't go to work. Mm. But anyway, um, so she gets my number and she calls me and she's like asking me all these questions. And then she want to hang out. No. I was like, mm-hmm. like let's make him me answers. Mm-mm. No. Yeah, no. Like, I don't want to hang out with you. And then she was mad at me and still trying to get back together with him. She threw all his clothes out the window, broke his TV, and did all this shit, and then was still trying to get with him <laughs> and trying to bash me. No, that's, it's, that's always weird to me when the woman is trying to link up, though. Mm-hmm. Like, what is it that we about to link up for? Yeah, yeah. she want to see if you done with him for real so she can keep fucking with him. That's what she want to see. And she had actually befriended another girl that he cheated on her with. And, and they would hang out. out. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Come on. Ain't that dumb as hell? Yeah. Dick? yeah. <laughs> no. That's his dick. That's not, <laughs> don't no. befriend the girl that your boyfriend cheated Please on don't. you with. Please don't. Please, just leave it crazy. alone. As a matter of fact, do you recommend calling Mm-mm. a girl if you find out? Yeah, you know I mean, because what's gonna happen? Mm-mm. Either leave him or stay. Whatever you gonna do. Would you call Amory? If what? If you found out your man was cheating on you, would you call the girl that he was cheating on you? Do I already have physical proof? Yes. Then no, I already know what I need to know. Mm-hmm. You, right. He out. Right. But like, if I don't know, and then like his room was like, uh, the, like the guy I was supposed to call myself time to now. 
It was rumors like I saw some on the internet or whatever. And then I didn't know, like it wasn't physical proof like he was with her. And then until the DMs came. But like if you don't know, like if you're not sure, like say if like he in the club with her, but they ain't hugged up or something. But right. people telling you like they dealing, then it's look, what, you know, tell me what's going on. And if she tell you and it's that, then ain't nothing else to talk about. But do you believe somebody? Because what is she exaggerating? No, like, you, you got to like come with receipts. You got to give me receipts. You got to come with proof. Sheesh, we got to be detectives. <laughs> no, you just got to like, okay, he was at your house yesterday. What's the proof he was at your house? Mm-hmm. He was. Te- he texts you, I love you. What a proof. What a date. So what is, you know? You got to get that black light and go over to bed and check the Girl, DNA on the hair. That, you know, no, that's hair. crazy. <laughs> and I'll play with you. I'll play with you. No, because people do be jealous <laughs> and they'll, they will try to just say anything to mess up a relationship. Like, mm-hmm. remember when that happened with Travis Scott? And some girl and a guy was taking pictures, acting like he was cheating. Yeah, yeah. But then they came out a week later like, ah, just joking. And you're like, what the fuck is funny about that Nothing. shit? Yeah, not funny. Craving flavor and refreshment this summer? Pick up one of the three flavors of Bud Light Chilada. Original Extra Lime and the newest member of the family, Mango. Bud Light Chilada is perfect for drinking at brunch, on the beach, or just hanging out with friends in the sun. The original Chilada brings you the crisp, refreshing taste of Bud Light with the rich signature taste of a Clamato tomato cocktail. This distinctive blend delivers a flavor that truly refreshes. The Chilada Extra Lime delivers a citrusy spin on the classic chilada flavor and the chilada mango brings a tropical touch to a summertime favorite to best enjoy your chilada gently rotate the chill can once before pouring then pour over ice and garnish with a slice of lime some celery or mango salt the rim of your glass and then add a dash of hot sauce for even more kick pick up a bed light chilada today and learn more at budlight.com bud light chilada flavor that refreshes now would you listen say you started dating a guy and other women tried to warn you about him what I listen to? To the other women. Like, girl, let me tell you something. He did this, this, that, and to me, and I'm telling you right now, he gonna do this. And would you listen to that or pay attention to that? Or do you want to find out on your own? Find out on my own. I take note, but at the same time, it take a certain type of woman to change a man. Mm-hmm. Like, you probably wasn't what he was really looking for. Like, or you wasn't fulfilling him in a way that probably I could. You know what I'm saying? I'm just gonna have to find out for myself. We think that. But do you feel like when you get with a man, if he's done this in the past, you feel like you could change him? No. I feel like he'll want to change on his own if that's what he want to do. And I also feel like coming from another woman, you can't really trust what she say about. Like, you can't take your her advice for her experience. You got to have your own experience. So I'm going to still go ahead and, and get my own experience and see what's going to happen because my situation with him is not going to be the same situation that she had with him. What if multiple people want you? And they all saying the same thing? Mm-hmm. I mean, then you got to kind of take that. That might be a little different. Yeah, that <laughs> like if they're like, yo, he be beating bitches ass. Like, exactly. all right, he might be. What if they say pulled, he got herpes? She what if they say he has herpes? Oh, I mean, God. well, you ain't gonna have to listen to three motherfuckers to yeah, find out. If one person tell me you then got herpes, then you just kind of like, Ugh. that could be a lie though. That could be hate. I'm gonna ask. You, you would, would ask him. I would ask. And then what would you say? <laughs> that what would what if he says no? Then let's go get checked out to make sure. Together, <laughs> I'll make the right. appointment. Right. What if you already fucked him? I'm st- we still going to go check get checked out now I really want to go to the doctor because I want to make sure that you ain't spread the shit mm-hmm. yeah cop <laughs> she's like because she's sipping so much she need another drink <laughs> every time we ask him she's like mm. <laughs> now what if you was with a guy everything was amazing right mm. and you're about to have sex and he tells you like just so you know I do have herpes but it, but it ain't but, flared up right <laughs> right no. now I'm not having an outbreak and you know you can only get it skin to skin contact so I'm just letting you know then what? I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. No. Mm, no. I gotta love myself first. I'm not finna catch n- nothing. What if he has pamphlets to show you how you can make sure you don't get it? Mm-mm. I can't. I, a pamphlet? Yeah, no. A pamphlet. <laughs> you know, I give this to everybody I fuck. Here you go. No. Here you go. This is how you can make sure you don't catch it. No. 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 The, the, a disease is a different situation. <laughs> I'm not. I am sorry. I could be your friend. <laughs> I can't be your girlfriend or what your if he lover. What a cold sore on his mouth? Would I kiss him or something? Mm-hmm. Mm-mm. Would you be with him still though? It, what you mean? If he tell me that he got herpes, no, he got a cold sore. He got a cold sore. Forget the herpes. Let's just say he got a cold sore. Does that bother you? See, a cold sore is is herpes one, right? <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> but it's not a, a sexual it's not genital disease. herpes, yeah. but it's still a version of. I, I I still feel like we gotta go get tested. 
I'm I testing mean, nigga anyways. Like I'm, I ask those questions. You like, asked if you got tested? Yes, I you promise didn't see you. You paperwork. When the last time you had sex? <laughs> uh, when the last time you got tested? When the last time you was you had sex unprotected? I ask mm-hmm. outlet because mm-hmm. it's too much going around. Mm-hmm. Are you honest about things like that? Like if a guy asks you how many people have you been with? Yeah, I know my number. I ain't really tripping. Mm-hmm. I don't think guys should ask that. though. I don't think they should either. Me either. No. Mm-hmm. Would you ask a man? No, no. no, I wouldn't want to. I assume any guy been with has probably been with so many women he can't yep. count. Yeah, yep. <laughs> I it's just true. assume that I don't know if that's true We also damn near Twice your age So that, you know Yeah We gotta think about The type of the, the, the age range of guys That we're dealing with They probably been You know What's some of them Of your age Yeah no, cause Girl <laughs> bye I'm kidding I don't, I don't know. know She's kidding <laughs> <laughs> My man is actually Twice your age <laughs> So and, and a few And a few And add a few Okay Now if you met a guy What would turn you off Right away from talking to him what are some things that is like, Aunt red flag, no. Mindset. Like, if you, I don't know, it's, it, a nigga got to come a certain type of way for me. Mm-hmm. Like, it just, it got to, he got to come off like a, I was like raised to think, like be a, I was raised as believing a man's supposed to be like a manly man. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. I don't want no little ass boy. I don't want no nigga with no little ass mindset, no goals, no ambition. Like, if you ain't got shit going for yourself or you don't got a, a stay for a mindset, like, that's a deal breaker. Okay. What else? Um, Just looks wise, what would you look at him and be like, eh? The way he dress. <laughs> mm-hmm. I like a nigga that know how to dress. Like, what's knowing how to dress to you? Who's, like, tell us somebody who's a good dresser. YK Osiris? I knew that was coming back around. <laughs> uh, fabulous. Okay. Yeah, Fabulous. Yeah, 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 fabulous. Not a dress. Yeah, can dress. Uh, who else? She like nobody my age. <laughs> <laughs> Who my age? Anybody your age? Jeans is tighter than mine. Yeah, you like tight jeans on guys. You see, no, I think it should on. be like in the middle somewhere. Just fit. Yeah, not it's too tight, face. not too loose. Yeah. <laughs> what if a guy came to take you out and he had a a purse on, like Uzi or one of them, like a, a Chanel young thug. bag, a young. But thug. it was the LED light when it lights up, so <laughs> you know it was really nice. Like it was fly, but it's still a bag. That's not that's not my preference. <laughs> so you gonna I, be like no no no. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't see somebody in a club with a purse. On, I mean, a bag on, and be like, "Oh yeah, let me holler at him." Like, <laughs> but if you liked him, it's not a deal breaker for a purse. Yeah, <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> what if it's a purse that you really like? like? A fanny pack, like a really nice. It's purse. a man. Yeah, bag. Bag. You're not, yeah. What about a fanny pack? A fanny pack, cool. Like the little scrap yeah. messenger bag. That's yeah. not bad, but I mean, like, like the oh, actual purse. And then I'm be wearing per- bags now, like purses. Like they gotta carry stuff. That's what pockets are for. That's what the assistant is you for. You can't fit everything man. in your pocket. Put it in a book bag. If you got stacks yeah. of money, you can't just put that in your pocket. You gonna put it in the book bag. Maybe he would rather it be in front of him so it's not on his back where somebody could Why steal. does he have stacks of money? Because they get cash for shows. <laughs> Why they can't get it wired or something like that? Maybe they like, I want my cash now. Put, put it like in the book stuff. bag. And they might have a wallet. They might No, have... it's not okay. <laughs> no purse. I always felt bad bad that men couldn't just carry purses like us. Cause I'm like, where would I put all my stuff if I didn't have a purse? But if it was a man, but men don't purse, carry stuff in my that bra. we carry. Bra. Yeah, your bra. <laughs> Imagine stacks. <laughs> Look, we looking at purses now. What if he was buying you nice purses? Is that too? your boo with a purse on? Because I think we just seen a picture of your boo with a purse on. I don't know. I, I'm uh, blind, y'all. I really can't see that far. So I don't I know see. what that is. She blind. Okay. <laughs> no, I'm legally blind. <laughs> <laughs> Hold it down. No, for real though. I can't Yo, see that far. I don't yeah. even know what they just showed me. Mm-hmm. I okay, so you're cool with the purse. That's your man way. with a purse. You gotta backtrack a little. <laughs> no, I ain't say that. I said a fanny pack. Okay, a fanny pack is fine. Yeah, a fanny that pack. That looks more like a bag. <laughs> but it's all right. What y'all show me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, a Chanel bag. <laughs> now, let's talk about something different that we've never done before. Let's talk about, and I thought about this. I was um, at this screening yesterday for this new series that's coming to AMC that Black Thought and Quest Love and Sean G are producing. And they talk about iconic songs. Each episode is about an iconic song that changed your life. Hmm. Right. Like the episode I saw was about Jesus Walks, Kanye, and they talk about they break down how the song was made. They talk about the choir, Rhyme Fest, everybody that was involved in making that song. What's the song that you would say changed your life? We'll start with you, Anne-Marie. 
if you could think of something that you like, yo, that song was life changing for me. I remember where I was. That was my joint. I say my song, I'm leaving. Ooh, that hurt. Yeah. I bet I know what that was about. <laughs> Period. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving changed my life because I'm leaving is when I really left. Mm -hmm. I literally went in the studio after a, a big altercation, we could say, and then I made that song and like it was it was literally like my dead like my dead point like it's over with. And once you do that song, you know there's no going back because mm -hmm. I put it in the universe. Yeah, and mm -hmm. then you got females that's really like, oh, uh, she looking at you like a hero kind of like she left in this toxic situation, mm -hmm. so I could leave too. Mm -hmm. So like I was, I I be for real though. That's good because then you can't do a part two like I'm back. <laughs> <laughs> I, I said I left, but here I go. But here I go. No, I'm leaving. Don't stop me. I'm walking out the door. <laughs> but cry too by Life Jennings. Mm -hmm. Life Jennings cry was like a. It's that song that 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 makes you feel like fuck what people say, like their opinion. I am who I am. You know what I'm saying I like that song too. Like every time I go through something, I play that song, and it reminds me like. I'm human just like the next person. Now that's dope. See, I mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. I'm leaving. All right, what about you, Loria? What song changed your life? I'm not going to say changed my life, but it, I would say like at a point in my life, this song, when it came out, it was just like something that I would go to and I would keep playing it over and over and over. And it was Jay's song, Can't Be Life. Mm -hmm. This can't be life. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, it just touched me. I think it was the feeling of it. It was just, you know what I mean? So it was just, that was it for me. But also, Jay was always my favorite artist. Right. Well, rapper, because then it was Kanye my artist, blah, 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 but whatever. Mm -hmm. But like, it was just something about the whole feeling of the song. And, you know, especially when I was down, I felt whatever kind of way. And the stories that it was in that record, everything, I just felt it. What about you, G? Yeah, um, same situation, like, didn't change my life, but, and it's also a Jay-Z song, because we know how I feel <laughs> about that man and all his music. Right. Um, but Song Cry. Mm -hmm. I used to listen to I Song Cry. I knew somebody going to say that. I used to listen to Song Cry back to 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 back. Like, for months. Mm hmm And it was because it just, how much I want to bet this your best friend. Oh, it's Kanye. That's your, mm -hmm. oh, no, that's your Kanye. daughter. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you sent her the voicemail? I'm not going to answer no, right with now. Your <laughs> time. You want to talk to her? No. <laughs> um, yeah, it reminded me of what I, what a relationship that I had just came out of at the time. Mm -hmm. And um, it helped me get through the transition into being single again and, mm -hmm. and getting my swag back and, and moving on and doing me. So, yeah. And that was. <sighs> what? She about to really go through it. Nah, man. Because here we go bringing up this man again. Oh, that's a guy you It killed. was him. Oh, oh my God. She, did. she killed somebody. Damn. So you was listening to Song Cry after you killed him? I was listening to Song Cry after we broke up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought that's somebody literally. Like, no, no, she literally, she literally killed, killed, him. killed him. But she's not getting no charge. It was an accident. <laughs> he had a heart attack after sex. During. Story sex. sex. And but, what was just oh go ahead. But yeah, um and look up was, was so Song Cry was your song after he died? <laughs> no. Look, she's was like, after, I don't know what's going on. It was after we it was after not. we broke up. No, yeah, he did die. It was after we broke up and I moved to Atlanta. I moved to Atlanta because he tried to kill me when I broke up with him initially. Like that's what started it all. That's what, tried yes, to kill yes, you? yes, yes, yes. Yes, I, I tried to break up with him because we were. It was getting crazy, and he was very violent towards me, and oh, I didn't no. want to be with him anymore. So I tried to break up with him, and he tried to end my life. And then um, I left and moved to Atlanta, and yeah, song cry helped me. So with wait, that so transition. after that, you got back with him? Mm -hmm. Damn. Wait, yeah. how did he try to kill you though? It was love. Like he first he choked me out and then he threw me down concrete and still steps. Oh my god, Gigi. How did he manage to get you to even want to come back? Um I felt bad for him. You feel bad for him after he did yeah, that? Yeah, I felt That's bad. That's how we be feeling too. I felt bad for him. I did. You didn't want him to get I in felt trouble. bad for him. He told you he was going through some things. He seen it in other he was relationships. Sick. He was sick. Mm-hmm. And I felt bad. This is the guy sick. with the little penis? Mm-hmm. Okay. 
That yep. dick too small to be acting so big. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's one of my lyrics. <laughs> but yeah, um, and you then know. he died. The end. So guys with small dicks do be having more of an attitude than the average person. They do. Yeah. Like right. they got a lot to No, yeah, like, they do. He had a chip on his shoulder. Yeah, like, they do. Because yeah. he had a chip on it between his legs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It wasn't a dick, it was a chip. <laughs> it was a chip. It was a chip of a dick. Like a chip of a diamond, it was a chip no. of a dick. <laughs> <laughs> you had the same experience? <laughs> Shit. Well, a guy with a little Yeah, and you and they be having a crazy attitude, you'd be like, You got some nerve. Okay, so y'all ain't never met somebody that's like, um, <laughs> he got this ego, like, ooh, he up. <laughs> Do some shit. Mm-hmm. Then you meet him, like, really? That's what you working with? And like, ain't doing nothing. Uh, that's terrible. I find that there's a couple of different things here. Guys with little dicks, if you don't know them, if they're not trying to highlight you like that, they are nasty. Like, they're not normally, like, nice people. They got to make up for it in some way. That's why their attitude so big. But if they trying to fuck you, they not going to fuck you right away. Oh, They'll no. try to befriend you. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Do nice things for you. Get close make to you. Make you love them. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they and woo then, you first and then they pull out that little dick. Like, and they pull out their little you like dick. Me, like, you love me already, right? <laughs> right. They know I'm small. And everything will come with me. And next thing you know, you, you love me already guy, and my little dick. Love. <laughs> and then you just make them put it in your butt, duh. <laughs> oh. Anne Marie's not there yet. Sip. <laughs> Oh, come on, might, big gulp. She might be after this sip. <laughs> she said, come on, big gulp, though. Yo, GG. You never had it in your butt, Amory? Lip service. <laughs> God damn. Woo. I know she has because she didn't answer right away. Because if you didn't, you'd have said She no. said no. No, no she hasn't. Huh? No, y'all just tripping me up. You could hear, right, L'Oreal? Yeah, that's what I heard. Huh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> nah. Heard you. Heard. Uh uh-uh. uh. <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs> Hear this. No. You ain't try it? Nah, uh, not yet. I mean, not okay. Th- so maybe not yet. I'm not saying not yet. I just feel like <laughs> if my personal opinion, if you don't <laughs> take it that way, you are gonna take the other gender. Like that's not true. No, no, <laughs> that's not true. I mean, teach me some. I'm young. Yeah, she young. One like the men have men have hairy asses, and you know if you're doing your shit some right, it should too, be cleaned yeah. up. <laughs> okay, I think it's a boy. bear ass. If he likes bear asses, you're good. <laughs> if he like a hairless ass. <laughs> Some guys Ain't like nobody it. else hot? <laughs> I'm hot. I'm hot. It's the drink. You said what? It's the drink. Okay, yeah, the drink um, making her hot in many ways. Who are you going to text after this? A nobody. The man with the FaceTime. <laughs> that sounds like a song. That could be a good song for you, the man with the purse. I'm talking to the man with the purse. Oh yeah. I'm asking him hey, to buy change. me one. Y'all really think this is funny? Huh? <laughs> but yeah, I think this is funny. <laughs> and just wear that purse. <laughs> HBO's newest comedy is a black lady sketch show, written by, directed by, and starring black ladies. A black lady sketch show is a groundbreaking new comedy series starring a core black female cast and celebrity guests portraying dozens of dynamic characters and hyper versions of themselves in a magical reality. This hilarious series is not afraid to go there and explore culturally relevant themes, including social norms, anxiety, religion, sex, dating, and relationships. A Black Lady Sketch Show features numerous firsts, the first all-black women writers room, the first black women sketch director, and the first sketch series cast comprised entirely of black women. A horror movie about dry skin, an alien stealing dance moves, a viral proposal going wrong, and an invisible spy are just a few drop-dead funny sketches set to debut in season one. Starring Robin Thede, Quinta Brunson, Ashley Nicole Black, and Gabrielle Dennis, and guest starring Issa Rae, Angela Bassett, Laverne Cox, and many more. A Black Lady Sketch Show airs Friday nights at 11 p.m. Stream it now, only on HBO. All right, now let's talk about unsolicited sex messages, because we know you like sexting, right? Nah, why you say that? <laughs> yes, we know it's you do. Song. I can't even say nothing because I made yeah, a song about sexting. <laughs> okay, so yeah. you do like that? You do sex? 
let me see your phone. No, I'm playing with you. Look, she uh, got that. uh, That's how you know somebody on some shit when you say, let me see your phone. phone. But wait, I'm going to say something now. Little Miss Shy Girl over here is a Scorpio. So she ain't as ain't innocent as she's sitting here with that leg all crossed, child. She got two phones and she all tatted up, child, betting them lashes. Mm-hmm. And then two phones is facing each other. So you know she hiding some shit. I don't know what she hiding from us. Damn. Yeah, we not going to go through we your shit. We ain't looking. <laughs> I know you got the six number password, too. I, I definitely do. <laughs> no, but <laughs> what was the question? <laughs> she said, "Fly your phone." No, she we was saying about, sexting. No, she got the business phone that don't nobody hit. That's she was why. about to give you that. No, I got the business phone that everybody hit, and then the personal phone that. Yeah, but I the business phone is just business. That. I'm talking about personal shit. Ain't in the business phone. Huh? <laughs> mm-hmm. No, I ain't she shit. Do that, huh? See, I ain't shit in the um. See, look, she looking through it right that's now. That's my personal phone. Okay, she deleted just, everything. That's mm-hmm. how you know she in a relationship. I just bought oh, this. You only got three messages. You sneaky. Cause I bought this phone two days ago. <laughs> 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 what was the question? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> she on some shit now there was a story the other day I was reading right and it's a documentary they had did on TLC about this man who has no penis he was born without a penis I can <laughs> and he said that he has uh, fooled over a hundred women with a strap on? No. So basically, he does like a catfish type of scenario where he make you fall in love. And then every time you try to have sex, like when he meet up with you, because he talks to them online, he'll act like, oh, he's on drugs and he can't do it, whatever, whatever. He's on drugs? Medication. Yeah, like, he's, oh. like he does too many drugs. To, oh, real drugs. Yeah, oh. to be able to get it up. So have you ever been catfished? I'm saying, but people can't have no penis for real. He was born without a penis. It's How like a rare pee? disease. <laughs> I don't know. He ended up getting a prosthetic one, like, it, but it was really expensive and difficult. Like, only three years ago. That's why they did the whole documentary. His mouth worked, right? And he had a whole girlfriend, too. His mouth worked. But could you just have oral the rest of your life? No. You might as well be gay. That's true. true. As a woman, if you're not going to get penetrated, then you might as well just have sex with another woman if you're not going to get penetrated. Well, What's you the can point? scissor him, so you don't have to be gay. That is a gay thing. That's, but he's a yeah. man, so technically, but there's no it would penetration, be scissoring. But anyway, have you ever been catfished, <laughs> Amory? Like, have you ever talked to a guy on social media and met him in person, and it wasn't what you thought it was going to be? I have been catfished, but I never met him in person. How you know you was catfished then? Because he made all the excuses. Like he even turned this app message off before, like when he was texting me. Mm-hmm. And then, like one day, he made a mistake and FaceTime me. <gasps> And he wouldn't answer the phone after that. Like I called him like twice, he didn't answer. Like my sister know, uh, he uh, I, I think to me personally, I don't think that was him mm-hmm. at all. Oh, it was like a select, like somebody famous, and he was pretending, or it was just no, a random person. He wasn't famous. I was in. I was like um, probably like seventeen. How did he even get your attention? So I was on this TV show before. It's called The Real Awakening. It was like something that was really like popular in Chicago. Mm-hmm. And I had made a post, I think. I was like 16, 17. And I'm like, um... You lucky R. Kelly didn't call. <laughs> <laughs> he did. <They're> like, <laughs> he called too. I made, I made a post that said something about, um... Something about me and that scene. Like, I want to... I wanna, Is there niggas that sing or something like that? And he was like, yeah. So I was like, all right, show me. I sent him my number and he called his son and like he sounded cool so we saw him no on the phone no, so he, he just had a face in the ceiling and he was singing no he called like he oh, called okay. on the phone yeah, yeah he regular okay. called and we was on the phone we was talking so we we got to talking like after that cause he was really cool and then one day it came to like meeting up and he made an excuse or some shit he was supposed to can't he was like I'm finna slide on you no 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 I'm like okay and then he called like yeah I just got locked up but, but if you? that's what I said like yeah. you locked up like how we talking right now <laughs> yeah they let me go I said you're lying so after that it was just it really that. was R. Kelly <laughs> <laughs> yes. look I just sipped my drink that time <laughs> <laughs> basically yeah I feel like I got cash before I so can't you really to him since maybe he could sing but he just wasn't attractive I think it was. I think he used other people like, I mean, another person's profile, right. but I don't really think it was him. He could sing, though. Yeah, he could sing. So he could have just been cool with you still? Yeah, but I think he was like, because he thought I was somebody at the time because I was on the TV show. So I think he was kind of insecure. 
But like some female hit me before and was like, um, he not who you think he is. Mm. Shit. Who is she? I don't His know. Girlfriend. It was him too. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> it was Shim. Guy is everybody. <laughs> he tried to holler and then he warned you about himself. <laughs> yeah. Basically, I think I think I got catfish before. I can't prove it, but I know it. Can that's a shame that he could sing, but he probably wasn't confident enough to let you see him. Who he is? Yeah. Yeah. And was, but he probably was he like. Trying to be romantic on the phone after a while. Yeah, mm-hmm. but I wasn't on the same like level as him. I just really thought he was cool and I liked his voice. Right. And, but I think he was like, um, I I really don't know. Mm-hmm. I really just think he was like, um, weird. But that's good. That he paved the way because more than least, likely he was weirdo. Yeah, mm-hmm. I really think he was. At least your situation was clear for the situation you in now. I <laughs> Are you single? Yeah, I'm single. By choice? By choice. Does your boyfriend know you're single? <laughs> what? Do <laughs> uh, the hard thing again. <laughs> huh? <laughs> nah, I ain't got a boyfriend. All right, now is it cheating to get money from a guy who you're not messing with, right? Let's just say you're in a relationship, but there's a guy that's giving you money. You ain't never mess with him, never kiss him. You don't hang with him, but he just like to give you money. Is that cheating? No, nah, hell not. no. That's not cheating. Yes, it is. <laughs> hell. You gonna tell your boyfriend another nigga gave you some money? See, I'm, I'm, I, I don't like feeling like people did shit for me, so I don't really give money. But I feel like if you or you was to get some money from somebody, it's a gift. Like, it's cheating. Is <laughs> somebody to buy you some shoes? No. But would you tell your man? <laughs> so if another yeah. girl, so if another girl, if yeah. another girl bought your boyfriend a new Jays, you gonna be fine with that? No. So that's cheating. <laughs> whatever you're not fine with doing, whatever oh, you're so not fine not okay. with happening, then if you do it, it's the same thing. It's, Wait, it's a lot of shit that's double standard for me. <laughs> so that's true a, too, girl. That's a Come double on with standard. that loophole. Come on, bring the loophole through. That's, that's a double true. standard for women. That's so true. I do something for me. A gift is a gift. <laughs> right. Would you be honest, though, about it? Would you be like, like this guy just sent me $5,000? <laughs> no, I'm very honest. Mm-hmm. I'd be like, yeah. What if he was like, give it back? You going to give it back to me? Right, you replace it. <laughs> right, like, damn, y'all. I'm just saying. What if it's a deal breaker in your relationship? Why even tell him? That's what I want. She said she's very honest. I want to say nothing. I ain't no, look, nothing. if you ask me a question, I'm Sorry. not going to lie about it. Like, but she, she's saying she's not going to volunteer. Yeah, she's going to Because if he asked you that, he already know. <laughs> Clearly. Excuse me, did somebody cash out you $5,000? He knows. Yes. <laughs> like, no, it was somebody. six, so I don't got to say yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know what she going to say when he asked her that? Huh? Huh? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what? <laughs> so that's not cheating to you? No, it, it depends on like the, okay, you have a male best friend? Yeah. You have a male best friend? Mm-hmm. You have a male best mm-hmm. friend? Y'all was ever sexual with y'all male best friend? No. no. Okay, so if your male best friend give you $5,000, that's cheating on your man? He wouldn't give me $5,000. <laughs> <laughs> At all. $500? No. My male best yeah. friend? No. He might ask he me trying to give it to a bitch he trying to get pussy from. Right. <laughs> he know I ain't giving him no pussy. He not giving me $5,000. <laughs> I don't know how to come back You ain't going to justify this shit with us. <laughs> right. Because, like, <laughs> my male best friend, to give me $500 if he had it. If I said, like, I needed $500, like, I'm good for it. So he'll give it to me. That's not giving. That's lending. That's lending. Yeah. That's oh, different. so you, y'all saying, like, give it with like, no... Uh, let's say a guy like pinch. you, but you're not fucking with him, but he just... Like they here go shopping and they just send you some money. You deserve it. I mean, what if he came up on some money and want to share? Like, <laughs> I like listen, your excuses. No, nope, then take it. Just don't tell on yourself. That's all. I ain't gonna tell him myself. But if he asks me, then yes. If he asks you, he already know. I'm. He gonna know if I tell. Yes, <laughs> he yes. sent me fat. <laughs> yes, he did. I don't know. I don't feel like that cheating. Time. Cheating is like. Flirting, cheating is like conversation, leading on sex. That's cheating. Like, but if you accepting gifts, yeah, that's so not taking cheating. money's not cheating, but flirting is. Hell yeah, yeah. You don't think it's natural to flirt, even if you're in a relationship? Like, it's not the biggest deal in the world. You're just flirting. No, if I walked up and my man was at a bar flirting, what would you do? It depends. What's flirting? That's the problem. Like leaning over, buying drinks and my, smiling would be too buying hard. Drinks for everybody. He buy drinks for everybody. And he, he does buy drinks even... for everybody in here. Yep. But I don't consider that flirting. Right. No. He's more annoying than anything. Than anything. Like, else. Shut up. 
Yeah. Okay, so yeah, if he leaned that. over, leaned over, smiling in the bitch face or some shit, that shit. Oh, he, he yeah, does he that, do that too. Yeah. Plus, he can't see, so he can't. <laughs> yeah, see. he got to get as close he as possible. He holds on like this. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I, it depends on the person. That's the thing. Yeah. And like, what, some guys what are very mean? friendly like that. Like, they'll go out and they'll be like, "Oh, they celebrating a bachelor party, buy them all drinks on me." Mm-hmm. Right. Yeah, that's my boyfriend for mm-hmm. sure. Oh. But some guys, if they do that, you know that they trying to be. They trying to fuck something. Yeah. It's different for yeah, certain people. Yeah, so I guess you yeah, know It depends on the person. You just got to be worth it, right? Why do you keep going back? <laughs> Let me know something. <laughs> I don't give you the world. Say <laughs> that. <laughs> Look uh, out. Nah, She's like, look. Nah, let me know something. Like, <laughs> why we keep referencing Osiris? Well, we didn't even say nothing about him. I'm going to give you the <laughs> oh, world. I want to talk about somebody that give you the world. <laughs> and then you... <laughs> <laughs> if you're listening to this right now, that means this podcast is now available on Audio Mac. Audio Mac is the free music and podcast streaming app that lets you stream and download the hottest albums, mixtapes, songs, playlists, and podcasts, along with Audio Mac exclusives. Discover the best new songs by browsing the trending page. Check out the library of carefully curated playlists. There's one for every mood. And take your favorite songs and podcasts offline to save your data and listen wherever you are. Audio Mac is here to move music forward. Available now on the App Store and Google Play. So what's your favorite position? I'm assuming it's doggy style just from your music. <laughs> yeah, girl, because you be talking that shit, girl. I was listening to you earlier like, oh, oh I need to try. Oh. Is that your favorite position? Okay, girl. No. What is it, missionary? On top. You on top? Mm-hmm. I like to be in control. Because she a Scorpio. I keep trying to tell y'all, y'all like that little mm-hmm. shy shit. Fool you oh, no, she, does, she don't seem shy to me. <laughs> she just from the shy. Yeah. <laughs> Not shy, but from the shy. Okay. Can you come on top? Huh? That's yeah. the best way to come, ain't it? Mm-hmm. The easiest way. In my opinion, yeah. Do you remember your first orgasm? I've never had an orgasm. <gasps> well, she's young still. Girl. I'm trying to think if I had an orgasm by your age. Yeah, you you don't you never Girl. made yourself come? I was coming at nine, girl. What's wrong with y'all? Made myself come. Yeah, like from that's masturbating. By the way, <laughs> I was masturbating. Yeah, that's I what didn't I'm know saying. that that's what was happening. I told y'all what happened the first time I got pregnant. I was fifteen you, years old. You got pregnant from masturbating? No, dummy. <laughs> yeah. Sperm on her finger. <laughs> the first time I got pregnant, I was fifteen years old. My, I went to my mother and told her I was pregnant, and she said to me, "How the hell are you pregnant and you don't even know how to come yet?" And I did not know what she was talking about. Until I learned, I knew what I, I knew I was coming, but I didn't know that that's what was happening when I was playing with myself. I didn't know that that was what I was doing. You and was then when over. the guy, I just didn't, I just knew it felt good, and I was gonna keep doing it. <laughs> so mm-hmm. you licked your when finger I, into yes. It? Okay. So when the <laughs> so when a guy <laughs> when a guy <laughs> made, <laughs> when a guy made me come for the first time, I'm like. <gasps> That's what she was talking right. about when she said, I don't even know how to come yet. I mean, but this was like an internal orgasm, not mm-hmm. an external orgasm. I feel like anybody can have an external orgasm because you could do it yourself. So you had a but baby it, before you had an orgasm by a man? I Wait, so hold on, y'all teaching me oh. something. It's a difference. Say what yes. you just said. <laughs> she said, say there's what you just said. <laughs> there's an external said, orgasm and there's an internal orgasm. External, internal? Yes. So, so you can come from clitoral stimulation, which mm-hmm. is external, or you can come from your G-spot, which is internal. Which, which is, is inside. Which is inside. inside. The vagina. Right. So like, it's oh. kind of like So head. he can make you come from the inside, yeah. from fucking you, or he mm-hmm. can make you come from the outside, from head, or, you know. With his finger. So an orgasm is, consists of what? What's the... Like, like when you come bang boom yeah. pow and you like come in period you know, you know yes. when you yeah. come because uh, you know you you be shaking a little you get that it, it's a rise it. up it's a rise up it feel good it feel good it so feel you've good. never and then it felt explodes. that before you've come never in? had an explosion yes come like you never felt like oh my god it feels so good it feels good <laughs> and it's don't over don't touch me <laughs> don't touch me right. right and it's over and I'm done <laughs> no no oh. you don't masturbate <laughs> Where's that box? That's what I'm saying. Toys. It's the, the masturbation Where's the thing. Where's the Doc Johnson box? We're going to give, it to give her a toy. A two. What's crazy? <laughs> so you've never masturbated? <laughs> How do you know when to stop? I plead the fifth. <laughs> She's definitely <laughs> masturbated before. So you never you made yourself come? Um, you just haven't had a guy make you orgasm. Because how do you know when to stop if you don't come from masturbating? <laughs> What's the question again? Come on, Sip. Come on, Sip. Come on, Sip. Come on, Sip. Take a sip. Because isn't that the point when you masturbate to come? Yes. Yes. So then you just, when do you stop? When it's over. When so she you comes. have come from masturbating. 
But a yes. man yes. can. But she's husband. yet to have an. You can't hear. <laughs> she's yet she's to have an yes. internal orgasm from penetration. Mm-hmm. Have you ever told a guy what to do? Like you need to do this. Move yes. to the left a little bit. Wait, you gotta so, talk into the mic, Amory. You know how. Because <laughs> this shit. Because you know everybody ain't watching. Some people are only listening. <laughs> <laughs> they, they can't see you in your in your in your faces. What's the question again? <laughs> I remember the first time I had an orgasm. I was like, "Oh my god, this is what this is!" And I was how old was I when that happened? I was probably like nineteen or twenty years old. And he ate me out and made me come. And I didn't know I liked that until I came from it. So that was my question to you. Oral? oral has the guy. Yeah. And okay, you, so you've come before. So you you just haven't had an internal, internal orgasm. orgasm. Yeah. Right. Okay. That's normal. I That's don't have them all the time. Normal. Most women don't. And it still feels good, but... Some like, women have know. never had it happen in all of their lives. And, like, I mean, like, older women have never had it happen, ever. Some people just can't figure it out, mm-hmm. which is sad for them. But, um, yeah, you should. <laughs> you should try to figure that out, you know? Mm-hmm. Well, you're single now, so I, I guess you're doing a whole lot of masturbating. But when you get a boyfriend... <laughs> now, sex ain't really that exciting to me. What?! Not it's yet, not. cause she ain't orgasming at orgasm. Not yet, but you in charge too. You on top. Well, wait, huh? y'all. She's also yeah. com- compared to mm, us, kinda young. So at twenty three, well, sex was very exciting. Well, not I for feel me. like that's when it started getting lit for me. Mm-hmm. I, mm-hmm. I was. I didn't really know listen, what I was doing. I was. I was an early riser, but I was also a late bloomer because sex didn't get good for me until I was like almost thirty. Mm-hmm. Like I would I, do it because it was something to do. But I agree. I didn't. I didn't get like horny and like I need dick until I was like in my like uh, this is what I'm gonna do and I'm you know this is well, what I had have to do that guy with the little dick that's probably why yeah you probably didn't want it yeah but I will say like when I was about like <laughs> mid 20s is when I started like sex was different like I was having sex and I thought it felt good cause right. to that's me that's what that's I was what trying to get to that's what yeah, I was trying to get to yeah but when I think the more experienced guys cause they're in my thirties so, is when I started to that you meet, in right? my thirties is when I started to enjoy sex, when I started to want sex, when I started to but feel not like just that. I want. If you dick have a guy that pussy. understands the woman's body and like knows certain spots, that, that that's too. a whole different that too. experience. That too. And I feel like after you experience something like that, then you get the crazy. Then you had sex. Right now you're a virgin. <laughs> uh, you're a virgin. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, I'm choking. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been with a woman? No. Mm-mm. All right. Sip. <laughs> Never ever? No. Did Not they yet. try to hit on you? Yeah. <laughs> Not yet? Not yet what? <laughs> <laughs> she got a lot of things she's about to try. <laughs> oh no. Uh-uh. I have I have no problem for other people's preferences, but I'm not attracted to women. Okay, I'm I tell a, f- a female. I've never been with a woman either, so. Me and you're the only ones in this room that have never been. Wrong. Okay, you're dragging it. I did something once. Okay, you but you still yeah, but, you, but you're making it seem like it's a regular. No, thing. No, I'm not. I'm just okay. saying I never have, not even once. Mm-hmm. You have. It's not no problem. I don't. I don't. Um, not nobody prefaces, but I'm just. I will tell a female if she's attracted, like, mm-hmm. you know. But I'm not going. Eat her pussy. That's a gesture you made. Girl, <laughs> that, like, girl. That, 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 that is not what I was thinking. But I'm not gonna eat her. She's not gonna eat mine. It's not gonna happen. Like, <laughs> Emery, I'm so excited for you. There's so many things that you're about to do. <laughs> no, about to have this internal <laughs> orgasm. She said that was like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. there's so many things you to do. Go out there, girl. <laughs> right. Woo. Enjoy being single. Spread you your like, wings. What you like better, being single or being in a relationship? So after the three year situation, I tried something just recently, mm. and he just reminded me of the first person. Mm. So like, I don't really care for relationships like that. Do we know him? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> nope. Have that sip. Nah, but um, I don't really care for relationships like that. I'm not a um commitment type of person. I'm and not you no focus on your career. Yeah. So what was it like for you when you signed your deal? <laughs> Different. <laughs> it now, was all but, smiles and champagne. I saw a little clip. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nah, but I was um I was I never saw myself signing a deal at first. Like I I always wanted to go the independent route. Mm-hmm. But then I met somebody that made me feel like <laughs> who? <laughs> who did you meet? This lady named Bearline. Bearline. Oh, hey, Bearline. I met Bearline and she made it feel like it was like um 
the thing to do. We might have oh, yeah. a line on lip service one day. Mm-hmm. She used to interview people. She didn't sit on the sideline. She didn't interview me before. <laughs> I think we got a space right here. So no, nah. come here, Barreline. No. <laughs> right, is there a mic? Come have a seat. Barreline definitely likes anal. <laughs> no, I'm playing with you. <laughs> she like no. <laughs> Hilarious. So how did she? How did she finesse you? She finessed the fuck out of me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you how, right? So you know that that church. I'm. Uh, this is the first time you gonna hear this too. <clears throat> Let me sit up. Come on. So you know, like that that aggression or that um that commitment that you looking for in a nigga. Like you want that nigga. Like if I say I'm finna leave, I ain't really trying to leave. Like stop girl, me at the door. Yeah, man. like at least try. Like <laughs> let me leave and go home. They call I you and be like, yeah. <laughs> I made a stay, baby. I'm ready to come back. Like Bearline was seeing other situations and labels or whatever. She like seeing other people. Yeah, and she'll pull up like, and what you doing? <laughs> like. I'm here, Ann. Like, <laughs> sent Ann a bottle, said some bear line. Deep voice too? <laughs> yeah, sent Ann a bottle, <laughs> said some bear line. Like, nobody's going to get Ann. This, this, this is mine. You know what I'm saying? Like, she had the commitment. My pussy. Ooh. Like, Whoa. <laughs> oh, baby. <laughs> she said she don't go that way. But that's no. She did, but it's still. See, <laughs> so, so y'all going to get me drunk. <laughs> 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 So she was very aggressive And you knew she really wanted you Yeah like it, She made me feel like Okay like Cause I'm I'm very like I'm uh, I think I'm afraid of commitment kind of You know I got like Abandonment issues So like I'm afraid to get close to people Cause I feel like The ones that's closest to you Is the ones that can hurt you mm. So I don't really like Be like so fond of meeting like new people, and she they gotta pursue you, like, yeah. So you know, they gotta give me that feeling, hard. yeah. So, barely came in, she was there like when secret video, mm-hmm. like, she was the first person that flew out. She secret video, she was there, like, look, I'm here like for a week, let's eat you every day for you. I said, baby, I'm I'm full, <laughs> <laughs> I'm eating yeah, I'm hungry more. right now. What are we doing? Yeah. <laughs> then she, like, she just kept pursuing, like, if she heard it was competition and she came, she, she, like. Overcame the competition. She was like, "This is what I want. This is what I'm gonna do." And did <laughs> yeah. Like the kind of man you need. So that that's that's what really <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm too I'm too strong man to have a sensitive man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but Bearline came and she was like, um, different from like the competition because mm-hmm. you know I was like kind of in the bidding not kind of but I was in a bidding war and it's nice to have a woman too because sometimes mm-hmm. I yeah. feel like you feel like a woman can understand the things that you need mm-hmm. I think more than a man can to see but women, women are more, in this business are more sensitive than than men too but that works because you kind of need some sensitivity around you when you're not the sensitive person no because I know like if you like passionate mm-hmm. so like I probably like something to go wrong and then because I'm so passionate that I yeah like like lash out, out. yeah, yeah lash and I'd be like look this is I came from nothing so for me to get to something like you gotta understand like I want my ass dotted my T's crossed mm. and like a female to be like oh yeah she don't like me because of this and that versus a man like she just tripping right yeah right but women are more detail oriented <laughs> mm-hmm, for sure yeah. I would say that like as far as scheduling and everything no offense to the guys in the room Hey guys, yeah, we women are yeah. more understanding too. I feel like because they, you want, we understand like, look, her hair not done right. She yeah. can't. We gotta make sure guys would be like, you like, I put a hat on. Or when you go through your mood swings, I feel like oh, she looking like up. Oh. We'll understand more because <laughs> this morning you was trying to get me to come with no makeup. See? I'm not, I'm not saying that I need makeup, but. It helps. You feel more confident yeah, sometimes. Like, like mm-hmm. we're going to be everywhere with this. So I want to make sure. But as a man, he's saying they're like, you don't need You don't makeup. need it. You look good this the way you are. Yeah. He said that this morning, can we just leave? <laughs> you like, need no. the balance. Uh-huh. I need these these lashes popping and these eyes batting, okay? What? Now, you said you had abandonment issues. Why is that? Um, I have abandonment issues because when I was young, my father left and my mother was dealing with her personal issues, you know, product of your own environment. So mm-hmm. she wasn't really present. Like she was there when need be, but like when wanted, like teaching a woman how to grow. Like we learned on our own, it's seven of us. Wow. So Are you the she, youngest? No, I'm the middle child. The middle it's child. three younger than me, three older than me. You know, our right lady but my sister just passed. Oh. 2016, yeah. But like we had each other, so it was kind of easier. But because we was women bouncing, well, females bouncing off of females, so we taught each other a lot. 
But like my mom was trying to, she was working hard, so she wasn't really around. It's all girls. Yeah, mm -hmm. no, it's all girls and one boy. Mm -hmm. So six girls and one Sheesh. boy. I know he probably was going through it. Was he, was Where does he fall in the age range? He's right after me. He's okay. 22 right now. And then it's 16 and 18. Mm -hmm. But we we taught each other a lot of stuff. Like we learned like from mm -hmm. our environment or whatever. My mom was trying to work so hard because out of seven of us, she had what, five, it was five fathers and nobody was a present. Mm -hmm. So it was just her. So she was really focused on like what we needed, a roof over our head, gas, you know, water and food. Ooh, yes. Yeah, instead of teaching us the like bills paid. Right. Yeah. So you I didn't I never too. yeah, I never fought her like when she lashed that out was or the whatever. She had to make to make sure that y'all was good. Mm -hmm. Speaking from a mother, I'm the only mother on the couch. So Yeah, but like she lashed out a lot in in I get it now. Like right, then I was you a didn't rebellious teen. Yeah, yeah, I'm like You like I just want you here. And I want you to yeah, like you you go you get mad in the world because you're struggling and trying to provide for us, and we don't understand that at the time. So it's like, what damn, do do? I, yeah, right. we just want you to be here. Like, why is you mad at us? But she was really mad at the world. But she like um you got confessed that now, her. yeah, now. And she probably didn't even realize it. Yeah, at the time mm -hmm. she she said now she like I'm better now. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, cause you know I. I, she took care of me now I take care of my mom mm. you know what I'm saying and my father he left at one point like I guess it was too much for him or whatever the case may be you said he's an artist too or he was yeah when he, he was coming up how do they feel about you now being an artist it's shocking like coming from where I come from like n I didn't even expect it. I knew I was destined for greatness like I just always had a goal for myself a goal set like I don't care what I do but I'm going to be something mm -hmm. but music was my passion and like where I'm from like you don't really think like this is going to be that right I, I don't even think it really hit me yet like the, yeah, it's all pretty new for you still. yeah like signing and everything mm -hmm. and yeah that was just like a month ago right yeah less than a month I think Less than a month, but it ain't really like registered yet because like, like my 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 peers or whatever uh, text me or inbox me and be like, damn, like you the hope for the hood, like because oh, I no. really I really come from that, you know what I'm right. saying? And they'll be like, you the hope from the hood, like you showed us that we can make it out. But I I had to grind though, like it was not easy, right. like at all. It was not sugar and candy, like it never is. No, it's not supposed to be mm -mm. because then when it all comes, you know, all your rewards is gonna feel better because you worked work hard so hard. For it. Yeah. But if you just floated it. on along and just then you're got not by, you know what, I mean? what you have, you would take, take it, it for granted. granted. Mm -hmm. And that's when you see everybody doing all the dumb shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because they didn't even expect they was going to blow up. But you've been working for it. Because I was, I just, I uh, did media training, right? That's what it was. I did media training and I was speaking to the lady, but I only spoke my truth. Mm -hmm. And she was like, did you have a co-signing? No. I didn't have sex with somebody to get to where I'm mm -hmm. at. I didn't, nobody posted me, nobody upped me or none of that. Like, it's, it, when she said it, she was like, you really self-made. And I'm like... Damn, I am self made. Mm -hmm. Cause like it's I feel good. good. Yeah. Yeah, like it I but be. I don't think about it like that. I really can't even see how people just took to me. Like people just really just took to me. Like mm -hmm. I have a organic fan base is what they say. That's good. That's dope. Yeah. Yeah. And you also have a lot of tattoos. Yeah. Body art. Mm-hmm. Body art. Body so what's art. It, what was the first one you got? Trust no one. Damn. What age That's was hard. that too? That's harsh. I was seventeen. <laughs> mm. What I, made you get that? My mom put me out and I realized like how ruthless the streets was. Yeah. Where did you go? I was house to house. I was staying at friend house to friend house and then at one point I didn't have nowhere to stay. But like that's what I started realizing like how ruthless like people Life can is. be. Yeah. yeah. It's real out here. Yeah. So I trust no one. How much body art do you have? I don't know. I got a full sleeve. I got mm -hmm. my neck, my ear, my back, my leg. Like, you know what's crazy? Our tattoos are in the same spot. I got a tattoo right here. My feet, my whole sleeve, my neck, and my back. What you got on the back of your neck? That's a Hamza and a whole bunch of shit. She got a whole bunch of stuff. Ooh. Do you regret any of your When I was tattoos? looking on your um, video, oh, I was like, her sleeve? Yeah, is like any of them that you was like, I shouldn't have got this one? Mm-mm. Everything means something. How does um, everything you've been through, like you have to trust no one, how does it affect how you deal with men? I think it's pros and cons too. Like I know how to give love, but I don't really know how to receive love. Mm. Because I, I've always been, I'm a genuine Guarded. person. Yeah, 
I'm genuine, but like when people say it back to me, like I don't know how to I don't know how to express myself um, unless it's through music. But like if it's like speaking to somebody like a man, be like, oh yeah, you don't never show me affection, and I'd be like. You're like, don't be a bitch. Yeah, okay, <laughs> whatever. I'm here, right? right? Versus like if they they like need it from me, then I know how to give it. Like like something like okay, if you say something like, oh man, I need to go through law school, and I know I had them, and I know that's your passion, and I know I have the means or the bread to give you that. Then I'm gonna just pay for your law school. Like if I know you're serious, but that's the type of person I am. I need to go to law school. <laughs> <laughs> and then this is <laughs> Angela you're a troll like, you want to be a lawyer right. I want to be mm-hmm. I'm so very funny. passionate <laughs> no but I I care about what I care about I don't what I don't mm-hmm. basically so if if I feel like somebody around me is needing or mm-hmm. or or wants something I take but you don't like to ask for stuff no I don't like to receive things either because people like to throw stuff in people's face. I agree with that. You know, I have a hard time taking things from people. Mm. Unless yeah. it's a $5,000 cash app, right? Yeah, I'll take that. <laughs> <laughs> I receive. That's your Accept cash it. app, <laughs> I, I, I feel you on that, though, because I'm a giving person, but it is hard for me to, like, I don't like to ask for anything. And when people give me something, they're like, no, I'm good. I'm all right. Even if I really kind of need it. And then you feel like you got to return it. Like, yeah, and I feel while. like, damn, I owe somebody something. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, I don't is it like, bad that I don't feel that way? Yeah. Well, I feel like I, I give a lot I feel like I give a lot too But I feel like I can accept things Without feeling like That I owe people In return And I feel like that way Because I feel like I give so much of myself mm-hmm. But if it's All somebody like Look you know the dude That kept buying me shit mm-hmm. And I was like Stop Doing that I don't You know what I'm saying Yeah But, but see that's really different like though. Yeah, yeah like that. that's different She didn't, didn't like him, him But some and people his, don't care If uh, I don't like his, you I'll take some shit I like his, his whole thing was He was trying to woo you With Gifts, gifts and things right. like if that was going to make you like him when you and didn't already didn't like him so that's a little bit different right but like for instance if somebody if somebody I know was an up and coming artist and they trying to get on the breakfast club right and I'll say oh well I know Angela I know Dan whatever then I feel like if I do that th- if I do that favor for them they don't owe me nothing in return and vice versa you know what I'm saying but some people feel like I don't want to do a favor for somebody because Oh, I don't want somebody to do a favor for me because then I feel like I owe them. If, I hate if when somebody I ask do a favor for, for me, I don't feel like I owe them. And they be trying to get money from you or something. I'm, I This is so old, but when I was younger, I remember I asked somebody for like, a, all I asked them for was a contact number for somebody. And they had the nerve to be like, well, what do I get out of it? Yeah, see, that's whack. That's a phone number. That's whack. I've been through that. <laughs> and that shit is so <laughs> whack to me. No, but then whack. there are some things that you do deserve to get paid for. That's one thing. Because there's people that make their whole living off of just connecting people with each other. Mm-hmm. Very true. Yep. So I don't that's know how you get And see, like, and I've never been that way, and I could. But I'm just like, I don't... That's called a manager. Yeah. Or PR. <laughs> I feel or like whatever. I owe Sherry from Interscope some money. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry sitting over here like... Bitch, I'm a book Amory. Sip. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious. But listen, I do appreciate you for coming through. Yes. Thanks. Do you write all your own music? Yeah. Because it seems like it's based on your own personal experiences. So when you be doing all that, huh? And it's all in your mm-hmm. music. <laughs> I know I co wrote, um, I co wrote My Body. My Body, I co wrote My Body. Okay. Produced right. by Troy Taylor. Troy <laughs> Taylor. Shout out to my big bro. And um, Breeland. You gotta give it to Breeland mm-hmm. too. Breeland, very talented. Mm-hmm. You're gonna be doing more writing for like other people as well. <laughs> yeah, in the future. How do you like living in Atlanta? It's versus different. Chicago. It's different, but I think it's like um, it was needy. The weather's better. For Definitely. sure. <laughs> <laughs> for but sure. In Chicago. <laughs> yeah, we both used to live there at a time, at a point in time. Chicago. How, how often do you Atlanta? Go? Atlanta. How yeah. often do you go home? A lot more than I should probably. Uh, and they probably love when you come home. <laughs> I just mean, yeah. It depends yeah. on who the person is, because some people might want you working in Atlanta, and then some people might want you in Chicago. Yeah, but you know, like you get the most hate in your own city, like when people feel like you're not um, doing as much, or they, f- they feel like you're, you're, you're like not, I you're just got signed less than a goddamn they month feel like ago. You're not relax. worthy of what you get. <laughs> no, but I, I I looked out for people before then, but it's just the the fact. I, me personally, because if you think about like XX, the mm-hmm. XXX, the Cinchion, mm-hmm. and other people that died in their own city, like people feel like you made it out 
and I didn't. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like, right. what makes yep. you different from me? And we came from the same yep. space. People feel like they can't be proud of you because they too jealous that you made it and they didn't. Envious, yeah. Yep. Are you cool with the other women from Chicago, like Dreezy and Tank and all of them? Yeah. Oh, I am. I'm, I'm like, I'm with Unity. Like, I'm girl good. power all the way because, you know, it's a male dominant industry mm-hmm. kind of. Mm-hmm. So, so you feel like good. other women have embraced you? Uh, yeah. The ones I've ran into so far. All right, that's good. Yeah. But we embrace you up here. Absolutely. Yeah. And we appreciate you. <laughs> thank you. And thank you for coming back. I really did enjoy talking to you. Yeah. Thank you. And all your hearts. Oh, and make sure you give everybody your social media so they can follow you. Um, you can follow me at IG at I am two underscores Anne Marie. Twitter, I'm two underscores Anne Marie. And YouTube, Anne Marie. And it's going to get you a, um easier Instagram name. They got to get so you. I have a question. Get you. I mean, we've been working on it. Barely. <laughs> All I'm underscores is a little bit too much. Barely. <laughs> so what's up with now, this yeah. project? You got Pretty Psycho. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about that. Briefly. She don't seem so psycho. No, she do. Yes, yeah, she do. I'm playing with you. <laughs> she ain't fooling my ass mm-hmm. over here. <laughs> you know she's gonna take that last sip. Mm-hmm. I know, cause y'all been sitting on the same cup. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but our cup was way bigger That's than yours. Right. Cause we tried but to hold it down. You, yours was this big. <laughs> yours was a small penis. Ours was a big penis. So we took it down differently. Right. You could have three small penises <laughs> to our one big one. You got lemonade. Come on, I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna finish. My lemonade, one. lemonade. Yeah, I said ours is watered barely. down with lemonade and ice. <laughs> yeah, no, L'Oreal, L'Oreal barely had lemonade. She had a little that. splash. Come on, we going. Come on. Mm-hmm. Cheers. All right, let's play a quick game then. Spit or swallow? Swallow. <laughs> I thought we were talking about the project, y'all. Yes. <laughs> oh, there we are. Pretty psycho. Let's go. We'll spit or swallow? Swallow. swallow. Hey. <laughs> you know she's psycho. <laughs> are we talking about what? We- you just almost made me spit my drink out when she threw it back like that. I'm like, threw it back. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what they mean. <laughs> You know what we don't don't try to play games. You don't you know what spit or swallow back. means. You, <laughs> yeah, so pretty psycho. Right, <laughs> right. So pretty and psycho. Pretty psycho just dropped a week ago. A week ago. Throw it back. Video is out now. Streaming on all That's platforms. How you know she like it? Them back mm-hmm. shots. Mm-hmm. Back, That's what back, I heard. Back, 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 back. <laughs> you said it, not us. We just co signed it. Back, back, back. <laughs> <laughs> Streaming on all platforms. <laughs> Pretty psycho. Y'all know what it means. <laughs> all right, Anne Marie. Thank you so much for coming through. Cheers. Thank y'all. I've, I've been drunk. She she already swallowed it. <laughs> she already swallowed. She, she swallowed, swallowed it. She said, swallowed. She swallowed that shit so fast. She threw it back. She we gonna disregard you. that message. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, whoa. Lip service. HBO's newest comedy is a black lady sketch show, starring Robin Thede, Quinta Brunson, Ashley Nicole Black, and Gabrielle Dennis, and guest starring Issa Rae, Angela Bassett, Laverne Cox, and more. A black lady sketch show is a first of its kind comedy that explores culturally relevant themes, including social norms, anxiety, religion, sex, dating, and relationships in a limitless magical reality. A Black Lady Sketch Show airs Friday nights at 11 p.m. or stream it now only on HBO.